Hey everybody, Clifton Clowers here, back at you again for another episode of Lord of the Rings Runekeeper. Let's play live. And, uh, well, it's not live, it's recorded. That was a lie. Um, but we got a bunch of stuff to do today. I want to welcome everybody in to episode number nine. Uh, we are here at Gondaman, and we are going to go uh, turn in a quest, the Plundered Port, uh, where we have to talk to Askel and tell him about all the stuff we did at uh, the, the port city, Caladul. Which was over here, we did that last episode. So let's turn that in. He says, very well done. I think my brother would be satisfied with this blood price. I will send this treasure to Thorns Hall, and perhaps we can use it to defeat the door hands once and for all. And he's giving us all kinds of cool stuff here. Um, he's got this uh, bracelet. Which I can't... It's not ideal, it's might. We don't want might, we want... Um, we want vitality, we want will, and we want fate. Uh, but that's okay, we'll take it anyway. Here's some shoulders, which are pretty good, and everything else we can't use. Medium armor, a dagger, a bow, and a two-handed sword. So we'll take the shoulders and his bracelet. So we'll put the shoulders on. So that's cool. Um... Will and Vitality. Will is very important. It increases Tactical Mastery. Vitality increases Maximum Morale. And Might is Block and Parry only. So I think we're going to skip this bracelet. Uh, we also have this Earring, which gives us plus 7 Vitality. I think we're going to skip that too. Uh, we can't use this Medium Armor. I don't know what that's doing up there. Um, so now we have a gaping hole. Let's move that around a little bit. Okay. And everything is locked still. Okay, so we're done with housekeeping. Let's loot our stuff. Got a bunch of crap we can't use. Anything good? We haven't picked a profession yet. That's something that we're going to do here very soon is pick a profession. I, I think I'm going to go with the one that is a farmer and a cook. Uh, food is very important, especially when you um, don't hit very hard. You can eat some food to increase your critical, increase your vitality, increase your agility, um, increase your morale, that sort of thing. Uh, and in combat, morale regeneration is very important, especially when you don't hit very hard. Um, but it doesn't look like we have anything good, so let's just go sell it off to uh, Egon. What up, Egon? We got some more stuff for you. We're just going to sell it all, and we're good to go. So, the two things we have to do, one's in Dalian, which is way down here to the southeast. Um, we don't have a quick travel, so we instead chose to go back to Gondaman to turn in that quest we just did, and head south into Wrath Teriag, um, where we have to, uh, part of the prologue book quest, um, says here, Lang, uh, Langlass directs you to speak with the dwarf Inglefer at the outskirts of the valley of Rath Tirag. Um, there's a bunch of goblins down there, and that's where we're going to head off to today. Uh, it should be an exciting um, an exciting day full of, uh, of battling uh, goblins. So I want to thank everybody for the likes. I got two likes on the last video. Um, and everybody who's uh, been watching um, it means a lot to me that you guys watch me play Lord of the Rings online. I'm trying to expand the channel, so if you guys are in a kinship or if you guys watch or play yourselves, um, tell everybody, man. Tell everybody in the kinship about what's going on. There's a new Let's Play out, and uh, and it's fun. I'm going to follow, trying to follow the story as best I can. I know that can get kind of boring, um, but... Uh, it's just kind of neat to follow the story. Normally, I'll just play and play and play and just skip reading all the quests and, you know, just accept everything and, and go do what I got to do. But it's kind of neat reading the story. All right, here's Inglefer. Let's, what, what do you got here? Uh, Lingless sent you. He is a queer sort, that one, but a fine fellow for sending aid. If he thinks you are capable, then I have no reason to keep you from your task. You will find all manner of foul goblins beyond our barricade here. 
Do your best to avoid the truly dangerous ones and be careful not to travel too deeply within the valley. Fearsome are the goblins beyond the great peak of the heart of Roth Tarag. So he wants us to defeat melee and ranged goblins. Uh, he's got more quests, goblins in the valley. Uh, my thanks to you for standing by this, uh, standing by us. You are um, not here to simply call the vermin, the local vermin. You want to deal with the real threat. That is to say goblins. The foul things have been bubbling up out of the ground like bees from a kicked hive. I don't rightly know what has gotten them all riled up, nor do I much care, but I believe it is their leader, Gazrip. If you are up for a fight, get in there and break some goblin heads. We, If we can shatter their morale by defeating their leader, we can pen them in through the winter, and the snows ought to block up these passes till spring, and we will be free of them for a long while at least. So we have to defeat the goblin leader, Gazrip. And uh, here's Thrali. you got a couple things to do. I would be for your uh, we need to keep our enemies penned. Uh, within Rath Tarag as best we may, the number of goblins seems to grow each day, but our stout barricades have been enough to keep them at bay. Uh, however, these uh, those vile Melkai cave claws have taken to creeping up and burrowing beneath the barricades in the deep of night and threaten to undermine the walls and we can't find a way to stop them. So we're going to have to defeat some of the uh, uh, Melkai uh, cave claws. And spiders, it looks like. Ah, greetings, welcome to the beautiful Rath Tarag, the finest stench of desolate rock and goblin holes in all of the Blue Mountains. If you have come to help, we could certainly use it. Things have gotten worse as of late, and now all manner of things are crawling up out of the ground around here. I'd personally be grateful if you could do away with a few of the spiders that infest the area. I used to run patrols here now and again, but since they showed up, I haven't been able to bring myself to set foot past this barricade. Uh, I've been afraid of the spiders since I was a wee lad. Uh, what say you? Are you up for the challenge? Yep, I am. Sure thing. We'll go defeat eight spiders for you. Okay, so we have all kinds of stuff. And as a matter of fact, here's a spider right here. And we'll get started without further delay. Oh. Well, that was cool. The guards took him down. And I did not get credit. Thanks, guys. And there's another spider and a burrower, a milk eye. So we should be good, set to go here. Let's get these guys down, get our bleeds on, get our lightning mitigation up. And there's one of eight on spiders. So it looks like it's going to be a grind today. We're just going to go around and, and murk everything we see, pretty much. That's the plan. There's one of nine of the milk eyes. There's another milk eye. Oh, look at this dude. He's a hunter, level nine. Maybe we can crew up and knock all this out together. What? What say you, hunter, level nine? What do you got? Got anything? You want to do anything? I guess not. You're not chatting. There's a goblin. We'll go ahead and take this guy out. And I don't think that one counted for any. Oh yeah, melee goblin. That counted for a melee goblin. Goblin. Hopefully we can level today. Uh, what do you got? You got such a long name. I can't even say it. I just invited him to a fellowship. Let's see what happens here. Fellowship, it's a crew up. Kind of do things together. You share loot, and he declines. Awesome. See you later, dude. Good luck, level 9. These guys are all level 11. You're pretty good. probably getting good experience for that. 
A lot better experience than I'm getting. But that's alright. Anti-exploit. What are these guys doing? What are you guys doing? Where are you going? Really don't feel like messing with you. There we go. Now he's available to kill. And we'll get this guy down. So there's usually, I think there's like two paths you can take within this area, and I took the left path, I, I think, when I, as soon as I walked in past the barricade, um, I guess that's the goblin path, the other way there's more, of, oh my god, I've got a lot of bleeds going on, I need to get some health going, get this guy down as quick as possible, there we go, uh, the other way I guess would be more spiders and more of the, uh, um, milk, uh, whatever the heck, milk eyes, burrowers. Uh, let's take the goblins out first. There's a lot of them going on. Maybe the leader is down here too. There's a wooden chest. Open it. Let's see what's inside. And anything good? We got some silver coins, some ore, and some whetstones. It's for a jeweler, which I don't think we're gonna go down that path. So those are good selling items. There's a lot of a lot of good stuff down here. We're gonna get these goblins down quick. already on five of eight and we're done with that one already gonna get some heals on us because they've got a bleed and this fear poison or whatever okay that's gone range goblin so this is another range goblin we need uh, three more two after this guy Yep, there he goes. So we need two more ranged goblins. We'll be good to go on that front. Correct goblin. None of these guys are ranged. And it's not their leader. Let's head back out. It's not Galtrip. Gazrip, whatever his name is, and let's head back out and see what we can guess we can get into. Some of these guys have respawned. There's a stinger, he's ranged. Your bleeds on him, and then hit him with her lightning as usual. So one more ranged goblin. I know this guy isn't, but it's going for the experience. Just clear everything out. It's kind of a good play. We've got the rested experience. You see down below the blue on the bar, the experience bar. That's because I'm a VIP. I know the free-to-play players don't get that, so um, that's one perk of paying. And uh, I think I, I'm pretty. I pay by the year. It's not much. It's like. Sixty dollars a year, and it's you know it's it's not bad. You have to go check it out on um, Standing Stone website. Something the free-to-play players, if you really like the game, you should really look into because it 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 does give you a lot. You know, you don't have to buy quest packs. You don't have to go out into the Lord of the Rings store and sift through all that crap and try to figure out what you need, what you don't need. 
Alright, so goblins are done. So let's turn off the quests that we have check marks by. And that leaves us with spiders and burrowers. And gas trip. Where's he? Can Engulfer uh, asks you to enter Wrath Turag and deal with the Goblin Leader gas trip. Okay, so he's down here too. All right, there's another burrower. Got three of nine on the burrowers. That's not bad. I love these bleeds. Like, you get them down, down to, like, the last 10% of their health, you just walk away from them and they die. You know, you can't beat that. There's a burrower up there. Get this guy going. More birds, which we don't need. I'm sure the, the next line of quests coming from these guys are going to be birds. If I remember correctly, there's a few um, quests in this series. Which just means that once you turn in uh, the quest you're do that we're doing now, you know, they're going to have more for you. In the same area, which is fine. And there's burrowers all over this place. Can't beat that. What's up there? Oh, another burrower. There's a burrower. How many do we need? We need two more. And they're both right here. Looks like we just completed a deed or something. Conflagration of ruins. Strike with fiery reticule. We did it 375 times already. That's that's impressive. All right, so that's done. Turn that off. And now let's keep going this way. Look, there's spiders right there. Look at this. It's like we can't, it just doesn't, we can't uh, get unlucky today. It's two of eight. Get these spiders down. There's another one up there. Hit him with the lightning bolt right off the bat with full attunement. And the stun, the three second stun, man, I love that three second stun. That's a burrow where we can skip that. Here's another spider. Alright, two more spiders. Hopefully there's a couple of them up here. It's a burrower. Oh, there's a spider. Oh, and a... Oh, look at this guy. You don't mess around. Oh, the stupid burrower is going to attack me. Run this way, burrower. We got to go this way because this guy. I think we could take him, though. We're going to see what happens. 
going to get full uh, tier 3 bleeds on him. We're going to get full tier 3 mitigation. Uh, we need the heals on ourselves. And I'm going to start hitting him with our lightning. With the... Oh, it's a 5 and a half second stun now. Oh no, 2 and a half seconds, sorry. 2 and a half second stun. Hit him with sustaining bolt. Let's start reinforcing our bleeds as they well. What did he do now? He stunned me. Uh oh. Let me get one of my potions out. One of my healing potions. There we go. That should do it. There we go. Oh, look, a spider. That's just what we needed. I thought there was one up here to the left. As well, maybe not. Maybe this is it. Maybe he crossed the road. Alright, one more spider and we're done. Well, we gotta defeat the one dude who's like right here. That was just fine. Let's get this burrower out of the way. There's gas rip. He's just walking around. Let's see if we can just pull one of them. Nope, we're gonna get two of them. That's okay. We're gonna stun this guy. And we'll continue our assault on the regular goblin goblin. Get him down a little bit. Okay. Gas rip's uh, out of it. Let's get our bleeds on him. He's got a bleed and a uh, poison on us. We're going to want some heals real quick. Just got to sustain our heals. He's got two bleeds on us now. So we'll sustain our heals. Hit him with our lightning bolt. Boom. Done. Alright, and we need one more spider. So let's head back. I bet you we'll run into a spider. Along the way, I'm sure they've started to respawn. Look, there's a burrower up there. There's a spinner right there. Alright, spiders are done. Alright, let's turn on our finished quests here. And go turn in. We also finished another deed. Uh, which was Spider Slayer Basic. And now we're on Spider Slayer Advanced. We need to kill 60 of them. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, sticks. Goblins in the valley. Ha! Nothing like a rousing tale of goblin slaying to warm you up on a cold day. Well done, Clifton Clowers. With your help, we shouldn't have too many problems keeping the goblins at bay till it passes, till the passes fill with snow for the winter. After that, it will be up to the leaders of Gondaman and Thorns Hall to figure out what to do next. All right, and you got some gloves, which are pretty good. They're gonna give us plus twelve fate. Uh, again, fate. Increases our critical and tactical mitigation, which is good. So let's pop those on. Gives us one from 44 to 56 fate. That's pretty good. Uh, what do you got here? Cave claws. Well done, Clifton Clowers. That should keep the vermin at bay for a while. All right, cool. And the whole barricaded guard, both of us, thank you, Clifton Clowers. But I am personally indebted to you for killing those eight legged horrors. Now, uh, less said of them, better. Okay. Alright, so now what? That's it? That's all you got? Let's turn the prologue back on. Lingless is at the Hunter's Lodge east of Gondaman. So he's back at the Hunter's Lodge, so... Alright, let's go there. 
That's uh, we'll travel there from Gondam and check it out. All right, Therese's Lodge, we're back, and here's Langless. Let's talk to him uh, for the book quest. Well done, Clifton Clowers. Once the dwarves and elves have arrayed their forces, the assault on Wrath to Rag can begin. Okay, so I knew we had more stuff to do there. Uh, let's see, prologue, assault on Rag to Rath. All right, Dwalin has sent many longbeards marching to Wrath to Rag, and Doragur Whitehorn has dispatched many elf warriors of his own. Skrogrim sought to defy the people of Ered Luin, but his actions have only strengthened the resolve to stand against him. Skrogrim will soon die in Wrath to Rag Clifton Clowers. While the elves and Durin's folk draw away the greater part of the goblin army, you will enter behind their lines and join up with Avrathral. When you have raided yourself, return to me and I will show you the path to Avrathral. All right, so we have to talk to him and How defeat Skrogram. It is time. Combine the combined armies of the dwarves and elves have already begun their assault on the cleft of Wrath Tarag. Avrathral awaits you within the valley. We must go. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Avrathral, I am ready, Clifton Clowers. We will find Skrogram and drive the fell creature not only from Wrath Tarag but from Ered Luin itself. This way. All right, let's go. Avrathral, I was starting to think you were leaving all the goblins to me, says this dwarf. Not at all, but look to your blade. Oh, here they come. So this type of situation, um, even though they're uh, NPCs, it's good to watch their health. And I don't want to aggro too many of the bad guys because... Um, just because of my lower morale. I mean, Avrathral here has got 1400 morale. I've only got 700. Okay, so onward we go. A fine hit. Just taking them down like crazy. Galthin and an elf champion. All right, what you got? They are preparing a fresh attack. Be careful. We stand with you. Hey, what are you guys doing? Put the bleed on him, and he's dead. Here come a couple, couple more. Try to get bleeds on all three or something here. He's not in line of sight. That's alright, we'll take this guy down. Here comes the Longbeard Champion. What do you got? Matthew Stouthand is in trouble. We need your aid. Alright, let's go, Everthrall. Let's go aid him. Lead the way, Master Dwarf, and we will follow, of course. Oh, 
Looks like he's doing okay to me. Here they come from around the corner. I'm gonna just throw some bleeds on him. And we leveled. Hooray! Personal house. We can now buy a personal house. I don't think we're gonna do that. That's expensive. If anybody has a personal house, I mean, you have to upkeep it every week or something, or that's what you used to have to do. And it can get really expensive with in game money, not real money. Um, but, I mean, you really got to have a lot of coins saved up if you want to hold on to a personal house. Alright, well, it looks like we're doing okay here. have returned with reinforcements, Matthew. Matthew says, the day is not one yet, though. You should rest a moment before pressing ahead. I think you are right. Let us rest a while. Rest? We don't need no stinking rest. Let's go. Oh, what's going on now? Oh, oh, get rid of those goblin spearmen. Jesus. Oh, they're up on the top of the hill. Let's go, Averthrall. Let's go get him. Boom. Thought you're not even gonna get him. There we go. We'll just sit here and make the dude bleed all day long. Let Averthal take him out. And here's a couple more. I'm gonna get rid of the sapper. I hate those sappers. Up their fire. What are you doing? Why are you over here pestering me? Go away. Alright. That's cool. I love that lightning bolt. Shocking words, it's called. Lightning bolt. See, I don't know. So one second stun. So I guess the stun goes up based off your attunement. Yeah, okay. One and a half seconds for one. I've got two attunement. That makes it two seconds. So each attunement I get, it goes up a half a second. That's cool. So right now it's at four second stun. Which is very helpful. Alright, Elf Hunter, look at you guys. Come on. Averthrall, the goblins have captured a woman. Your father led at Sarah Oakethart. My father is strong, do not fear. Let us rest a moment before we proceed. Uh, yeah, we still don't need rest. Let's go. This way! go. Entering Crookdell. Got a little something for you, goblins. And that stun really comes in handy. doing 
just hanging out, waiting for us. It's alright, we'll get him here with the lightning. That's good to go. Oh, and look at where we are now. Oh, there's Sarah. Sarah Oakhart. Says you should leave this place at once. Man, that lightning bolt is so cool. Now Clifton Clowers let us finish Scrogrim. Father. Aberthrow, no, stay back. It's a trap. Only two goblins? You better do better than that. Oh, there's Skogrim. Here he comes. The great eye possesses him. This has been an amusing exercise, but it is now over. A red Lewin is weak, and that is enough. I have business now in Breland. War is coming soon. Uh, you are defeated, Scrogrim. The dwarves and the elves stand against you. Okay, now you can kill him. So, alright. So it looks like you're going to go to Bree, which is cool, because we got things to do in Bree, too. So we'll see you there, Scrogrim. We ain't scared. We're we going to see you there. We got a little something-something for you if you don't want to fight here. That's cool. I see how it is. Be on your guard. The enemies continue their attack. Oh, here they come. Our fight is not yet at its end. We got a problem here. Oh, there's more. Stupid sapper. Father, how badly are you hurt? What am I, frozen? Don't worry about me, my son. I fear for the lands to the south. Aberthrow. Scrogrim has escaped Clowers, but I think a Red Lewin will be safe now from him. At least for the time. For that, I feel the combined assault of dwarves and elves was a success. It will be a long while before we know the full cost of our actions here. Many good people have fallen in Wrath Tureg this day. I will tend to my father's wounds and get together, and then together we can report to Langless and tell him what has happened here today. Uh, we should return to Langless now. Saruman's treachery has delayed me too long. I can only hope that Frodo and Sam have left the Shire. Without my aid, their road will be a perilous one. Frodo must rely upon the Rangers and your prowess to see him to the end. All right. You heard that. Looks like Frodo and Sam have left the Shire. Let's go talk to Langless. Many good dwarves and elves perish in Wrath Tureg, Clifton Clowers, and though Scrogrim was not defeated, he has fled, and his threat has abated for now. I am worried about the lands to the south. If Scrogrim was able to cause so much harm in Red Luen, he can surely cause as much or more in Breland or in the Lone Lands. I fear that we have not seen the last of Scrogrim Dowerhand. We must send word to my captain. He will know what to do, but you must leave right away. Are you prepared? Okay, so you got a couple of toys. Uh, you got a pretty bad, uh, pretty awesome legs, and you've got a bracelet. That's 14 agility. Agility is, again, critical rating and parry. Um, what does it say? It, incre it doesn't say it's important. Will is very important, tactical mitigation. So we're going to take, we're going to take the bracelet, and we'll replace it with our plus six will bracelet, which was our second one. Okay, and our tacti tactical went up to 173. Uh, prologue, the one called Strider. Come here, Clifton Clowers, and listen well. My captain, a ranger they call Strider, 
uh, the, must be notified of the threat posed by Scrogram. A shame you can't stay and enjoy our victory. Travel far to the east to a place that men call Bree Town. There you should seek out Barlaman Butterbur. He is the owner of a tavern called the Prancing Pony, where Strider has lodged in the past. If Strider is there, Barlaman can help you find him. If not, you can bed down for the night and you can continue your search in the morning. It is a long journey to Breeland, Clifton Clowers. Do not tarry, for Scrogrim is on the march. Alright, cool. So, hey, what's up, dude? Another hunter. Alright, so we gotta go off to Bree. Uh, that kind of skips all of the Shire. The Shire is fun, um, but that's alright. So, we do have a quest to turn in. Let's see what we got. Work what are we working with? We've got another Bree Town quest where we have to talk to the mayor, Grammy Tenderlarch. Uh, he's in the town hall, and then someone where we got to talk to Pelagir, uh, Pengil, Penglir, uh, and Dolian. So let's let's do that real quick. Um, we're gonna we'll we'll horse down there, and I mean, well, heck, we got a horse all the way to Bree Land anyway. So we might end up doing the Shire quest. Um, that'll give us a chance to let's make sure we turn south. Uh, that'll give us a chance to actually probably pick a profession as well. Um, so I'll be right back, and I'll meet you here in uh, Dalian. All right, welcome to Delion. We made it. So we have one quest to turn in here. Let's go do that real quick. He's over here. Right there. Penglier. He feels unworthy. Did Celeron think that I gave him my bow to him upon a whim? I do. I did not give that bow idly to the first man I met. Stay a moment. Oh, now what? Cele Celeron bears the blood of the Rangers of the North, and the name of a great hero is amongst his forebears. A man I was proud to call my friend and companion. Perhaps Celeron is young as men count the years. But then all men are young by my count. In ages past, I honored my fallen companions with a sword placed at his grave among the mounds of the Adain. It may be that the sword can yet be found in that place. It bears the motto, Evalon, or Elf Friend, in the tongue of men. Perhaps if you found the sword, that will convince young Celerant not to spurn my gift. Uh, well, where's that at? Way up north. All right. Let's go. Let's sell all of our stuff. Greetings, we don't want friends. repair and sell all. Goodbye. Loot all of our crap. And see if we get anything good. Did we get anything good? Oh, cloak. Yeah, it's pretty good. We got some more healing potions. Uh, a bow, a one-handed club, none of that we can use, some jewelry stuff, woodworker recipes, we'll pass on all that. All right, so cloak, um, plus three vitality, that's awesome. That's cool, let's uh, put that on. And let's make a space for our new morale potions. This one gives us plus 300, this one gives us plus 600. So that's neat. We can get rid of this warg tail. Now we have a free spot. Um, we've got all of our food up here. We still we we need to visit the vault so I can move these gift boxes out, or maybe we'll open them. Maybe we'll spend an episode just opening gift boxes. 
what do you guys think? Let's, you know, see how that goes. And we'll just put this here and we'll just start moving right, I guess. That's how this is going to go down. What is this? Oh, that's our old cloak. That was a big piece of uh, junk. Okay, so let's lock our new items. Everything looks locked to me that we want to keep, and we'll go ahead and sell all. And we'll put that there and that there. We'll just destroy it. We can't do that. Why not? We just want to destroy it. Thank you. All right. So, uh, the sword is way up here in Harad Lin to the north, uh, even north of Therese's Lodge. So, we'll go head back to the lodge. Uh, we'll probably do that next episode. I'm going to try to get back to the stable master, which is right over here, right? Um, there he is. All right, so, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, next episode, we'll head back to Therese's Lodge. We'll go try to get the sword, bring it back here to Dullion, see if that helps. Uh, what's his name? Feel better about himself because he's a little down. You know, he doesn't think he's worthy of the bow. Blah, 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 blah. Um, but I want to thank everybody for tuning in. We're over half an hour. We're going to go ahead and call the episode. If you like what you're seeing, give me a subscribe. Hit the red button down below. Give me a like, thumbs up. And don't be afraid to comment down in the chat or the comments below. I, uh, I'll give you an answer as soon as I can. This is Clifton Clowers signing off.